Hi, this is Dr. K from my medical school, and here's today's USMLE Step 1 practice question. A 45-year-old female has a history of recurrent seizures. She starts a new medication for her seizures. The new medication decreases the influx of sodium across cell membranes in the motor cortex during nerve impulses. After a few months of being on the new medication, she has concerns that her gums are very irritated. She notes her gums bleed easily and look disfigured. On your examination, you note a diffuse overgrowth of her gums that crowd her teeth. What medication was she started on that could have caused her gum issues? Is it A. Cyclosporin, B. Valproic Acid, C. Metoprolol, D. Carbamazepine, or E. Phenytoin? Pause here to think about your answer, but if you're ready, let's talk about it. The correct answer is E. Phenytoin. The symptom she's describing is termed gingival overgrowth. Gingival overgrowth is when the tissues of the gums grow significantly more than normal. This results in overcrowding the teeth, making it difficult to chew, and can even lead to pain or bleeding. There are several medications that can cause gingival overgrowth, also known as gingival hypertrophy. The most common drugs that cause gingival overgrowth are phenytoin, dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers, and cyclosporin. While many anticonvulsants work on sodium transport pumps to stabilize neuronal activity to prevent seizures, Phenytoin is the only anticonvulsant that leads to gingival overgrowth. Many times, with stopping phenytoin, the gingival overgrowth improves. However, in some cases, surgical excision of the overgrowth material is needed. Make sure to understand the side effects of medications as you're bound to get some questions about it. Well, that is today's USMLE Step 1 practice question. Check out our growing practice question playlist. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Dr. K from My Medical School, and I'll see you next time.